man, I gotta charge my phone ASAP. Hello my friends, welcome, thanks for joining my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kevin. In this video, I wanna show you guys how to install this panel plug next to your electrical panel. If they are new to this kind of stuff, don't worry. First thing first, safety first. So the first thing you want to do is to turn off your main breaker on your electrical panel. All right, let's do this. If you feel confident and know what you are doing, with proper safety procedures, you do not have to turn off the main breaker. All right, let's take off the panel cover. Let's safely set this aside. There are many different panels, but they are very similar. Let's pretend my breaker is off right now. Even though it's off, it still can be very dangerous. It is very important you do not touch any bare metal or copper showing above the main breaker handle because it is still alive. There is still electricity running through it. And to keep a safe practice, do not touch these metal bare parts. Let's say the main breaker does fail and you do not know when you touch it, you could die. There still could be electricity running through these even though the main, main breaker is off. Another thing you should not touch is the main bus bar right here. That could potentially have electricity running through it even though your main breaker is off. So it's a good safe practice you do not touch those with your bare hands. You should wear gloves just in case. I'm working on this panel live. Here I have a volt tester. I will show you the parts that you should definitely do not touch while working live. Even though if you have gloves on, it still can be very dangerous and you can die. So here are the ter four terminals you definitely do not want to touch with your bare hands. And those terminals is connected to this bus bar that's also live, dangerous. And also these screws you should definitely do not touch when working live. And on the side, if you have copper showing, copper sticking out, like this one over here, definitely do not touch. It's also live and dangerous. Like this, live dangerous. Remember, do not touch those parts. Very dangerous. I will have to trim these down. It's showing too much copper. I will have to cut them down to one centimeter. Let's prepare a box. So this box is called 1110, the part number is BC1110. Let's knock out the top tab of this box, which is very easy. Get a flathead and linesman, just knock it out, and then twist it out, the tab, and break breaks off. Next, we want to put in uh, the Lumex connector. There are two types of Lumex connector. There's the plastic one and the metal one. The plastic one's easier to use, so I'll, I'll just use that. Just put it in just like that at the top. Now we can install it onto the wall. Pick a spot on the wall. Here I have is a one inch wood screw. Go to mount it onto the wall, screw it in. Nice and level. Let's prepare the 14 2 wire. We're going to strip off about 10 inches of the jacket. Here I have the wire stripper meant for cutting Lumex. Makes things a lot faster and easier. You don't have to have these. You can just get a knife and make a circle cut around the wire and just be careful not to cut too deep or else you will damage the wire inside. Now I will slide the wire through at the top. Slide it all the way down, show a little bit of the jacket. Now I will bond the box. Make sure the ground wire is wrapped around a screw clockwise. There we go. Now let's cut the wire about six inches long. Now we strip the ends about half an inch. All 
I'm going to curl the ground wire so it's going to be wrapped around the ground screw on the plug. Remember, wrap the screw so the wire is wrapped clockwise. Going with the turn, not against it. You could also curl the wires and wrap around the screw, but it's easier just to stab it in the back. White with silver side. Now we'll do the same thing on the black side, just stab it into the back, into the hole. Just like that. Once you stab the wires at the back, make sure there's little to no copper showing. Now, carefully tuck the wires back into the box, and now we can install the plug into the box. Now we can install the plate cover on. Next, I want to make sure I have enough wire to reach to my future breaker and some more. I'm gonna have my breakers around here and I'm gonna have enough, so I'm gonna cut it right here. Always double check before you cut. Now we are going to get ready to install the breaker. If you're not sure what breaker to install, if you select the same breaker as the bedroom plugs, you will be fine. But up to code is the CFACI breakers. This is what my breaker looks like, the CFACI. It looks very similar to the AFCI breakers. So right here, this little gap right here, this corner piece, this is the pivot point where I will have to insert first before I can put in my breaker. So it's gonna go under this tab in my panel, like this, and then push it down. So once again, it's gonna go under this tab, so put in this corner first, and slot down. So this is the part I was talking about earlier, this tab. My corner of the breaker will go under this tab first before I can slot it in place. Now with the neutral wire coming from the breaker, I will terminate into the neutral bar. Screw it down nice and tight. I forgot to mention earlier, remember to make sure the breaker is always off before working. Now on the side of the panel, knock out the smallest circle tab where you wish your wire to enter. You knock it out the same way how you knock out for the 1110 box. Next we will insert the Lumex connector, either plastic or metal, you choose. Let's get ready to insert the wire. So I'm going to shape the wire where it's going to go. And I want to strip the jacket and have at least about half an inch showing inside. It's about here or so. Carefully shove it in. Now let's put the neutral wire in the neutral side of the breaker. Now for the black wire, we'll be under the other side of the breaker on the bottom screw, the hot side. We'll do a tuck test, see if, if the wire will come loose. Now it's secured and stabled. Now on the panel, you want to break off the tab 
where your new breaker will be sitting. My new breaker is going to be sitting here. I already broke off the tab. But breaking off the tab is very easy. Just use your linesman and just pry it back and forth and it'll come off easily. Now we can put the panel cover back on. We're almost done here. Last and final touch. We can put a staple here for support. Now we will turn on the breaker and hope it works. Yay, it works. Eureka. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Peace out. Till next time.